Hello, this is Nan Fan, MMA fighter, pro boxer, martial instructor, magician. This is Nan Fan Ramen Adventures. Yay! And uh, we're here at Butatan in Garden Grove uh, Ramen Restaurant. Let's see how it is, guys. Alright guys, we're here in Butagon and Garden Grove. And you see very beautiful, very nice, very classy, very Japanese Japanese uh, interior. Alright guys, so we're here, check it out. Um there's, there's, there's the menu here. Every time I come here I always like to order some appetizers. They have very unique appetizers, like not like anywhere else. We got the you know, spicy tofu, gyoza. The doors are here very good, the calamari, the tabayaki, the fried chicken, baby squid, and sausages. Every time you're around, anywhere I go, I always get um, some appetizers. These guys have very good appetizers, and uh, today I got the, uh, a plate of gyoza, some karage, which is here fried chicken, and uh, some, I think, uh, some sausages. Alright guys, when I come here, I usually get the, you know, put on ramen, which is usually pretty much a uh, Spicy tonkatsu based ramen, which is pork based ramen. It comes with you know, with some chashu and a pork, um, um, eggs, some garlic, and some, some, some seaweed wrap. Alright, guys, so you know, I just got done training with uh, Musa. We did some MMA sparring, a uh, bunch around new conditioning afterwards. I'm, I'm extremely tired and I'm very hungry, so I cannot wait for this food to come out so I can devour it. Yeah! So, usually, I don't eat ramen because it has a lot of salt and it's hard to make weight. But I don't have any events coming up. I got no boxing matches, no MA fights coming up, no judo or um, jiu jitsu matches coming up, so, or tournaments. So, in my spare time, I have to enjoy my nice big hot bowl of ramen, especially on a cold day like this. And, and look, our appetizer here, yay! First thing to come out is our gyozas, and we always give us a um, little side, so side of salad. Let's see how the gyoza tastes. Very hot, very warm, very crunchy. And the second appetizer here, the baby octopus. Yeah, look at that. With the baby octopus all fired up. Nice, look at that. Yeah, I've got the tentacles, you know, nearly on the head, everything. Yes. Dipping in some of the mayonnaise or the cute mayonnaise. Very crunchy. Oh, and my third appetizer is here, the karage. And if you get the little karage, it's, just, it's pretty much just um, really like fried chicken or chicken fingers. Mm -hmm. Yay. Mm. Alright guys, and the, the ramen is falling out. Yay! As you can see here, the ramen is you know, you know, a little kind of orangey, reddish color, and a bit spicy. It comes with um, a set of eggs and a lot of chashu. You got, you got the, the little nori, you know, the piece of seaweed in there. And when I come here, guys, I always ask for extra chili paste because I like my I'm um, kind of spicy. <laughs> We're down to the last sip. See, when you have a little bit left, you gotta pick it up and drink it from the bowl. Good to some of this. Now let's work on the appetizers. On 
to the squid. Alright guys, that's my experience at Bhutan Ramen in Garden Grove. Um, I'll be honest, uh, the very first time I opened at the beginning of the year, I ate here to show my support, you know. I don't think it was, it was that good, but I think I'd give another try later and I think it they definitely improved their recipe and the broth seems more rich and the, the ramen seems more, um, I don't know, the first time I ate it was a little bit soggy now. It seems just the right amount of texture, so everything is good. I'm not sure it's good enough to be making on the NAM fans round rankings, but I, I definitely come here very often, not very often, but I come here, you know, it's, it's the only Japanese style ramen in Garden Grove, you know, it's only like a made away of my academy, and, and the recipe has definitely gotten better, and if you're in the local Garden Grove area, please give it a try, guys. See you guys later, bye.